I would, but it would only rain. Dum-de-dum. Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. Hey, Ben. What do you want? Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. What a genius. The design's solid, but I need some waterproof material, like cast iron or something. for my super battery. Ah, excellent! I need that for my super battery. Looks like someone's bedroom. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. It's already open. Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case... can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. Excuse me. Yes? Weren't you president or something? Yes, I expect to be chosen president unanimously. I'm very well connected. 
Do you think I should be the ecology president or the education president? Depends on how many cherry trees you've chopped down. Excellent point. You enunciate quite clearly for a man without his teeth. I've had a bit of practice. Martha frequently hides them from me as a joke. Cold enough for you? Cold? Why, you don't know the meaning of the word. I spent a winter at Valley Forge. Now that was cold. Why, my spit would freeze before it hit the ground. Cool. Extremely. Could you use these? Why, thank you, young man. Strange. I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. Hey, Tom, look. The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. You're right. Huh? I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, log lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. You big baby! Navajo, I think. the idiot who started the fire. Stolen from the desk of George Washington. It looks pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I... I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Uh, didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? Catch you later. Ah, the final element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work.
miracle of modern science. It will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. It's Red's battery. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. Looks like my kind of guy. Hi. Sorry, can't talk. Busy making history. I got something good for you, mister. Uh, mister. Mr. Brainstorm? Yes, hand it over. Hmm, doesn't this belong to somebody? Yeah, Red Edison. Ah! I'm sorry, but the man has no vision! A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement! When I'm done with it, it will fly! Hmm! Eureka! The all-season Francocopter, ready to make history! No, there's no fuse. So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything. You just push it. The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now. Then push the kite into the air, all right? I'm on you, lasagna. Let's hope so. Now! Whee! He's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. Run for your life! Now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck! I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. The lightning must have charged it up. Thank you.